What we've got here is a foam beam supported at two points here and here by supports that allow the beam to rotate. So the beam's inclined at this point and at this point, but prevent the beam from moving left or right or up or down. And in the middle, we've got a stack of weights which provide what's close to a point load on the beam. So what we've got here is close to the classic case of a simply supported beam, which we draw something like this, with a point load on the middle. So we can idealize the beam in that way. And we know that for that sort of beam, the bending moment diagram is very simple. It's just uh, two straight lines. So it starts at zero at the support and there's a straight line up to the mid span under the point load and then down to zero at the support again. You can work that out very easily. Now, we should notice at this point that the beam is significantly bent at mid span. You can see the, the center line there is curved while near the supports, it's close to straight. There's not, not much curvature in the beam there. This isn't surprising because there's the moment curvature relationship, which links the bending moment in a beam to the curvature of the beam or how bent a beam is. And we draw that something like d2z by dx squared, where z is the deflection of the beam in this case. And what this expression says is that the, there is a connection between the bending moment in the beam and the curvature of the beam, this second derivative, that's linear. So if we have a large bending moment, we'd expect a large curvature, which is exactly what we see. At mid-span, where the bending moment is at a maximum, we see that the curvature of the beam is also at a maximum. And near the supports, where the bending moment is close to zero, the curvature of the beam is also close to zero. It's nearly a straight line at these points. Here we've got a, another case. The beam this time is supported over the edge of a table and by a weight on the top. What this means is that the support here no longer allows rotation. Just where the beam comes over the edge of the table, the center line remains horizontal unlike in the previous case where it was free to rotate. So this is a, a cantilever beam. It's free at the other end to deflect and rotate. And in this case, at the other end, we've just put on a point load using the metal weights again. So what this beam looks like when we idealize it is a case where we have a fixed support and a cantilever beam with a point load on the end. And again, we can draw the bending moment diagram for this very easily. Because it's a hogging moment, that means there's tension on the top of the beam, we say the bending moment is negative using the common sign convention. And because it's a point load like that, it's just a linear increase in bending moment up to the support. As before, if we think about the moment curvature relationship, which links the bending moment to the curvature or the degree to which the beam is bent, we see there's a close match between the curvature of the beam. In this region, the beam is highly curved, and that's just the region near the support where there's a large bending moment. Whereas in this region here, near the tip of the cantilever, under the point load, where the bending moment is small, the beam is pretty much straight still. So the curvature is small.